Northern California has no shortage of breweries, and there are quite a handful in the capital city. This weekend, Wonder event is celebrating the work of Mexican and Chicano brewers throughout California and Mexico. Our Marquez Salen is live from King Kong Brewery with a beer that's making its debut at the Cerveza Landia pop-up at Cesar Chavez Park this weekend. Mark, tell us all about it. Muy bien. That's all I've got to say. It is very good what is happening this weekend, and specifically today is a big service, a big celebration that is going to make Mexican beer history here in Sacramento. First of all, if you've never been to Kong Brewing Company, uh, Kong Nguyen has an amazing shop here. If you ever want to see it made, take a sample of the product. This is a great spot. But today, it's all about the Mexican beer. Now, you probably know legendary restaurateur uh, Ernesto Delgado. Uh, Majuel over on K Street, that's his restaurant. The restaurant that's in Cesar Chavez Park is his as well. Well, now he has teamed with some amazing people like John Anaya, Master Brewer, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? So you can put this better into perspective. First of all, a master brewer, and we want to celebrate the fact that um, we need to bring more Latin culture into the cerveza process. Sure. And Ernesto realized he didn't have a single true Mexican beer, like locally produced, Local. in his yeah, shop. For sure. Yeah, so basically, you know, there's a lot of commercial beer out there, Corona Modelo, that get ex exported. Sure. But Sacramento's first Mexican lager, and meaning there's a lot of Mexican lagers that are made by the breweries, but this is the very first that's made by by a chorus, a Hispanic, Mexican, Mexican American, yes. but ingredients that were sourced from Mexico. And, and give me some stats on this. There's a very low percentage uh, of Mexican produced beers, truly. It, it, yes, very much so. Yes. Yeah. So in the Sacramento area, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of breweries that do have one, but again, it's rare to find one that you source corn or maize from Mexico. Especially. You're saying less than 2%? Less than 2%. A thousand gallons of that being canned today. By the way, I want to show you the rest of the shop because you just mentioned something very important. We're not just talking about Mexican produced. We're also talking about Mexican ingredients like you talked about. And uh, over here is an empty bag of corn. This corn just days ago was in Mexico. And now it's part of the key ingredient of that amazing beer. Yes, sir. So this this area here that I have even a hard, have a hard time pronouncing, Tlaxcala. Something right, like right. that is uh, basically a lot of history. This is kind of where corn originated in Mexico, um, kind of uh, by Mexico City. Uh, uh, indigenous people grew it out in the wild, and it's been being used in this beer. Amazing. Coming up in just a little bit, we're going to get to know the man himself, Ernesto, who is making this beer possible. This weighs about 1,000 pounds. Help me now with pronunciation. What are we calling this beer? La Cosecha Dorada. La Cosecha Dorada. And La Cosecha, by the way, is the restaurant right inside Chavez Park, also owned by Ernesto Ducado, which is amazing. All right, so coming up next hour, we're going to get to know the rest of the players. I'm going to put this down, and he's going to give me a lesson in making beer. Back to you. Ooh, a lesson in making beer. I'm excited for that one, Mark. All right, we'll check it back in with you shortly.